Hi guys, my name is Oksana and I'm making this video uh, on the verb to be in past simple tense. Let's look uh, separately at this verb just because it is very important. This grammar is one of the fundamental grammar parts in English. And if you started uh, to learn English language, you definitely must learn the verb to be um, first. So let's look. The verb to be is irregular verb, and it has three forms. If you look at the table of irregular verbs, you will see that to be has form be, past tense, was, and were, and the form being as past participle to, which is used for perfect aspect of tenses. So let's, uh, we're gonna look at the uh, was were form, which is exactly past simple form of this verb. Uh, was is used for singular form, singular where we talk about one person, one object. Uh, I is singular, he, she, it, was. I was, he, she, it, was, singular form. However, you, some people say you was, I heard it so many times actually. Um, however, still it is were for you in singular and plural, it is the same, same, you were, you were, singular and plural. Plurality shows many people or things. So we, plural, we were, you, plural, like you students, you people were, they were, plural. Okay, this is something maybe to learn, to remember. When you remember this, it will be easier for you to learn past continuous tense because it has the verb to be at the part of the grammar structure. Um, let's look at the negative part, wasn't or weren't. In other words, was not, were not. Affirmative sentences uh, just have was or were. For example, I was here, he, she, it was here. You were in London, we were in London, they were in London. Affirmative sentence only was or were depending on the uh, number of things people in the sentence. So with the negative, we use particle not, negative particle, which helps us to build negative sentences. But we still have was or were, we don't change it. Uh, and there is no extra verbs here. So let's look, I was not, I wasn't, there. He was not, wasn't there. She was not, wasn't there. It was not, wasn't there. You were not, you weren't happy. We, plural, were not, we weren't happy. They were not, they weren't happy. So let's look at the questions, interrogative sentences, how we make questions. We put was or were before subject. So we replace these two, verb and subject. We get verb uh, coming first in the sentence. Thus, we make a question and we say, was he right? Was she right? 
Was it right? Were you light? Were we light? Were they light? This is a question. And uh, the grammar is that was is used for I and he, she, it in singular. And were is used for plurality, for plural form. And uh, for you in singular, second person singular, you, and all plural, pl plurality, plural num number of things or people. Now, uh, let's make some mm, clarifications here. I know that many students who did somehow, I don't know why, they love this did, they learned it in past tense, and they love to put did together with was, or, or uh, instead of was. So please don't use did together with was or instead of was. Definitely not correct form did, okay? So don't use did. Did uh, is used in past simple tense with action. It shows action, okay? It shows action. So it is mainly used with action verbs or the verbs that show some performance. Action or performance, any performance. Okay, so verb to be is actually, it shows the state, the state of being, being. Okay, so verb to be shows the state of being. It also is a linking verb. It links ideas together, yes? So it is, it is a linking, linking verb. It is a linking verb. Uh, verb to be never expresses an action or performance. That is why it can't be used together with, with did or, in, or did instead of was. Just put it here and see if we put did. Did I write? It's something wrong with that, right? It even sounds incorrectly. Did you late? Look, it's something wrong there. Yes, sounds incorrectly. That's why we never put them together or instead of was, all right? So was, were in past tense, uh, be, uh, the verb be, it shows the state of being, to be happy, I was happy, to be late, I was late, to be somewhere, place in London, I was there, I was here, I was in Sydney, etc. But please don't use it with did, that would be incorrect. And your next step with the verb to be in past simple tense is to learn past continuous tense where you will have this verb to be, these forms was, and were as well. Okay, thank you. Um, I wanted to do some exercises. Just bear with me for a second. All right, guys, so yeah, uh, as I promised, uh, just let's do a couple of uh, sentences here, or maybe all of them. All right, so we are working on the verb to be in past simple, and you will have to put to be in past simple here, but 
you will need to look at plural form or singular form, okay? Which is very important. All right, number one, these men in past simple drivers to be in past simple. Let's look, men is singular or plural noun? You can pause this video and do this exercise on your on your own. Challenge yourself, and then we will check all the answers together. All right. So because now I will do it with you, I will explain everything and tell you the correct answer here. Yeah. All right, guys. So these. This um already this uh, subject shows you plurality. Man is a plural form. Man is irregular noun, and it is plural noun. Also, just a moment. All right. If we put, I will just give you um like a hint that. You will need to put this subject into the uh, singular form, maybe to to make sure that you are aware of both singular and plural forms. Let me just do it for you. This man with I is singular uh, noun, and men with e is plural noun. Also, demonstrative pronoun this is singular. These, where you have e, e is plural, right? So, is this is something to learn when you go back to nouns and demonstrative pronouns? Is something to to learn about singular forms and plural forms? So. Of course, this is already visible that this is plural form, and we put plural um, verb here, which will be these men were drivers. These men were drivers. Then uh, number two, my friend, my friend. Just look if this is plural or singular form of the noun. If a noun has no s at the end, you you may be sure that this is singular form. You just put was. My friend was an engineer. He singular or plural? Singular, correct. He was at work. Easy. All right, number three, maybe a bit difficult to, let's look your parents' home. So this is a question. Hmm? Your parents' home, where verb to be comes before subject. Remember that? Right, so now let's look at the plurality, if it is a plural. Yes, we have S at the end. It means that this noun is plural. If noun or subject is plural, we have to put plural verb, showing plurality here for verb to be. That is why it is important to learn these forms of verb to be, because they have different forms in past simple tense and might be a bit challenging for beginners to learn. To answer negative, in negative way, we say no, they, they, plural form, parents, plural form. So no, they were not, or they weren't. Let's look at number four. This your book question. In past tense, let's look at plurality again. Book, singular or plural? If there is no S, this is singular, one book. This demonstrative pronoun shows that this is also one singular noun. And we just put here, uh, was, was this your book? 
no my book again same same noun same singular noun my book was in my bag now number five again these his newspapers let's do it together now again look at this demonstrative pronoun is this pronoun singular or plural and this pronoun refers to this noun you can look at the final suffix if you see s you say oh yes this is plural and then you guess that if you don't know the, that this is plural pronoun you just guess that this is plural but again if you didn't learn it yet just go to demonstrative pronouns to this type part of grammar and learn singular demonstrative pronoun this and plural these right and we get these were his newspapers because newspapers many plural and we know that this is a plural suffix they were as this is a difficult sentence for many beginners number six there any books on your table let's look let's find the sub uh, subject here subject any books let's look at plurality is a singular or plural we already see s then we are sure that this is plural were there any books on your table the short answer is yes there were were because we are talking about plural form of books and we just answer yes there were were there any books yes there were there's also a a difficult sentence especially this there were there is there are um this type of sentences also has some little part of grammar to learn which comes there always comes with the verb to be uh that is why we used to be here to answer as well with there there were there was his friends at school mm -hmm. Friends, let's look. Singular or plural? This noun is plural. That's why I know that it should be were. Were his friends at school? No. They. They plural or singular? Plural. They were in the garden. They were in the garden. Number eight. His, oh, sorry. Her sister, a teacher? question uh you can put this question in simple uh, present or simple past uh, but we need past here and if we look at sister is it singular or plural once you decide you see no s it means that this is singular now we put was her sister a teacher the answer is the question was her sister a teacher and the answer is yes she was yes she was well you know that she comes with was all right now you can check your answers if you were doing it on yourself on your own and just compare them all right hope this makes some sense to you thank you very much for watching bye bye for now